Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I am going to revisit the scraper that we created to scrape the Unsplash website. So this is that scraper and we were using this to download the images from Unsplash website. So there is a major drawback here. Uh, let me show you that. So if you run the script, now it's asking for the search query. So let's enter nature and we will get the available resolutions. So these are the available resolutions. So let's choose something like 1400 width images. And then the problem here is we get only 46 images. That is, it is saying that we have just 46 images corresponding to the uh, search query nature. But it's not true as Unsplash website has uh, thousands of images for the search nature. So this is one of the major problem for the script. And the reason this is happening is, let me show you the website here, Unsplash and let's search something here nature and these are the images for nature but as we proceed downward uh, we will see that it's generating more and more images so these are dynamically generated so this is the reason why we are not able to fetch all the images so to overcome this i have written one more script uh, which is this one and the idea behind here is we are not going to fetch the result from this page that we are seeing here instead we are going to fetch the results from the API endpoints. So what actually is happening is when we make a request in the Unsplash website, then it further makes a request to its server, uh, which is actually responsible for sending all the images. So if we can directly send the request to that endpoint itself, then we will be able to extract all the images. So that's what I did in this script. So if I run the script to show you how it works, so let's run it and it's asking to search something. Let's write nature. So as you can see, it gave us 10,108 images. So it's quite a lot as compared to the previous script that just showed only 48 images. So now we can specify how many we want to download. So let's write 50. And these are the available image quality. So raw and full are actually the high quality, about uh, 2000 to 5000 width images. And regular is 1080 and small is about 400 width. And thumb and small S3 is about 200 width. So let's go for regular. And this is going to download the images in this folder that is unsplash so let me open this side by side so you can see it happening so let's press enter here so it's extracting all the links and then it will start downloading the images so you can see it started downloading and it's done it took about 14 seconds to download this 60 images so this is the benefit of using the script which is a lot better than the previous one. So now let me explain how I did this. So we have to go to the Unsplash website and now press inspect. And then here we will go to the network section, which is this. If I reload this page, let's hope we get something. So we are getting something. So this is actually the API that is returning all the images to this Unsplash website. In the backend, Unsplash is actually sending the request to this API, which is further returning all the images. If I show this in a better view, so so these are the result total, these images and the result is this. So here is the ID. This is a particular image and its name is body of water B show. And like this, there are so many images. Now what we need to do is we have to just right click on this and copy it as curl CMD. Now we will use a program called Insomnia, which is actually used to know what the headers and cookies are involved in making this request. So this is the insomnia. So if I open this and here you have to paste the link or the API that you copied there. So just paste it and press on send. It will take a bit and you got the preview. So if we go on the query tag, so you can see these are the queries that is actually passed to this URL queries nature and per page is 20. It means per page we are going to get 20 images and currently it's for page two. Now, as compared to this script where we were making request to this site and then navigating to this tag, we will directly make request to this URL and we will pass the query and per page parameter here. Doing this, we will get all the 10,108 images and then we can explicitly specify how many we want to download. So, so this is that script. Now here I have created unsplash image downloader class, which actually contains self dot query string. Now this is actually generated by insomnia itself. If you click on this and you can click on generate client code and it will generate this. 
this is the template actually which will be used to get all this response here and then we can use them to extract or fetch all the images so you can copy this and use it in your file so this is what i have written here this is provided by insomnia the headers the url and the query so i created the function total images which actually make a request to this url with this headers and the parameters and then get the json data and from that json data we have a total key which actually returns all the uh, total images so if you can see here this is the total key of this response so this will give us 10108 value and after this we have get link section so it actually accept the pages and quality and pages will be actually let's say we want to download 60 images and per page we have 20 images so we can divide 60 by 20 and it will give us three pages it means we have to navigate to three pages and extract all the links so i have used for loop for page in range one to pages plus one and then in the query string that is here we have to specify another parameter another key value pair which is page as you can see insomnia has provided that if i go here so this section we have to provide so that we can navigate to different pages so i have added this page key and specified a f string here and then we make request to the url using this query string and the headers and we store the result part which actually contains all the images to all data variable and it is actually a list which contains this all images so this is one image this is another this is another so this is what is contained in result part so we now try to extract the name for that image which is stored in either sponsorship tagline part or alt description or just description now after this we get to the url part which is here as you can see here raw full regular small thumb small essay these are the urls that we are interested in so this is what we extract the url and as we passed the quality part here so we will fetch the url for that particular quality and then append that url to all links and we will return the all links so now here we just specified a folder and we created this using os module and ask for search query and we pass this search query to the unsplash image downloader class right here and then we will just extract the total image and that is available for that query if total image is zero then we will just exit the program with proper message or else we will get the number of images from the user that he wants to download so after that we just print the available image quality raw full regular whichever is there and then the user enter the quality and we pass this to the get links of the unsplash class which is right here pages and quality and then we get all the links for that search and after this i have just used my image downloader class which accept the list of links and then download the images so that image downloader class is here i mean file is here it's just a simple file which has function download and it takes links a list of links and it will first initialize the threads for each link so that the downloading will be fast and it will download you so this was the logic behind this uh, scraper so it's a lot better as compared to our old script that only downloaded some uh, 40 to 50 images but by using this one we just are directly accessing the endpoint from where the unsplash is making the request thereby we are getting all the images that unsplash has to offer so i got this idea actually by youtuber who goes by the name john watson rooney he has explained so many ways of scraping data from the uh, from different websites so you can definitely check him out so that's it for this video we'll meet you in the next one bye bye